I've received a lot of requests to comment on Tim Keller's passing. I've been somewhat reluctant, in part because our tradition designates this time directly after someone's death as a time belonging to those who cherished him the most. So I will be brief. I'm certainly saddened by the passing of Tim Keller. I only interacted with him on social media once, and I remember him being much more gracious than others on the evangelical left. He didn't try to smear me. He uh, didn't try to misrepresent what I was saying. Uh, I felt that it was a productive discussion, and I think I probably could have had a productive discussion with him uh, if we were in the same room talking to one another. As many know, I was, though, very critical of much of his theology. That's how we got to interacting on social media in the first place. I remember Relevant Magazine did a whole podcast on it uh, and wrote an article on our interaction. But the Lord did use uh, Tim Keller in the lives of many I know, and some of them coming to the Lord under his teaching. And I think that's important to note. I think it's also important to note that while many are lionizing him today, it is appropriate to remind believers that his public legacy, what he probably accomplished the most, broadly speaking, I'm not talking about individuals in his life or even his local church, but what he's been known for in evangelicalism and beyond, is characterized by encouraging the church to accommodate the world through a weak missiology. I think that's his major contribution. I believe the true gospel was certainly part of his ministry, but he also preached at times a false social gospel alongside it. And uh, there's, I'll, I'll, well, I don't think I'll put it in this video, but if people really want to look for it, they can go to uh, YouTube. I have a whole um, uh, playlist where I go through some of Keller's theology. The truth is that American Christians will be contending with that theology and that negative legacy for years, but Keller won't be here for it. And this is where I think the focus needs to be. I believe that God can save people with bad theology so long as their trust is in the per true person and the work of Jesus Christ. And this is my hope for Tim Keller. And it's also my hope for all those who proclaim the name of Christ. God bless. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and a happy Lord's Day.